Good evening, Joes and Janes. Uh, we're back at uh, Bass Pro Shops here in Olathe again, shooting another episode. Tonight's guest I have with me is Josh uh, Plates. He is uh, a circuit fisherman here locally. Uh, some of you may know him. Um, and what circuit do you fish again? Uh, I fish a little bit of everything. I fish uh, Kansas City Team Tour. I fish East Kansas Bass Masters. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. KBN, Kansas Bass Nation stuff. Yeah. A little bit of everything. And he's had some pretty good success there, even though he's a fairly young guy and next generation angler is what I call him. And uh, so uh, how well did you do on uh, the tournament? I think you won one this uh, year. It, I didn't win. Yeah. I was leading after day one. Leading I blew a big day. five pound, or almost five pound lead. Yeah. And I just couldn't catch him on yeah. uh, that second day. Yeah. And if I would have listened to some of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about, yeah. I probably wouldn't have had that yeah. problem. But <laughs> what lake was that on? That was on Wilson Lake. On Wilson. Yep. yep. I just got so stubborn and yep. bullheaded and wanted to catch yep. them the same way twice. Yep. And it just five pound lead, though. That's pretty impressive when you're fishing against guys probably like my age and older that have been doing it longer than you've been alive. Yeah. So that's well, pretty impressive. Considering I lost by three pounds, it's yeah. eight pound swing that yeah. didn't go well. Yeah, but uh, that all works out in time now. For sure. Yep. You'll get better and better and better. All right. And then, uh, He's got a method that he calls BMR squared. I'm gonna let him explain what that means and how it works. Well, first of all, it's by no means my method. It's, it's something I've learned and incorporated yeah. in my fishing over time. Yeah. Um, and basically it's something for that junior high, high school level, because being a boater coach for them a couple times, I realized that mm -hmm. a lot of these kids are just showing up to the lake and having no practice mm -hmm. or I mean, everyone has bad practices. How yeah. do you adjust for that? Exactly. And uh, what BMR squared stands for is bridges, marina, uh, rip wrap, and ramps. And basically, the whole idea is there's always fish on those four structures. Definitely. There's all. I mean, doesn't yeah. matter what time of year. Yep. There's always going to be fish on bridges, marinas, rip wraps, and ramps. Yep. And what I've done since this last Wilson tournament is I took a big old piece of tape, <clears throat> wrote it down, and put it under my lid on my boat. So it's mm. always always there always I, I'm, I'm always remembering hey dummy when you're not catching them <laughs> go do one of those things there's always fish in those locations yeah. kind of um, like the old saying back to the basics yeah exactly <laughs> and like start running around crazy running yep. a million miles an hour as soon as you get to a spot you sit down and you're like man I don't want to be fishing here or like I've got another five mm -hmm. spots in the back of my mind that I want to go to yep. and I just remember okay if I go to one of these deals there's fish there, mm -hmm. just slow down, take a breath. Yep. That's hard for yeah, me. And, and work it. And work it slowly. Yep. And um, there's kind of a second side to that, and mm -hmm. that's what do we throw when we get to these bridges, marinas, rip wraps, and ramps. Yeah. So let's let's look at this as, as if you're a high school angler. You're going mm -hmm. out for your first tournament ever. Yep. You've never fished a tournament before. You've never practiced on this body of water. Yep. And you're like, it's first thing in the morning. This is the first time I'm seeing this lake. What mm -hmm. do we do? Yep. So let's say okay well well first of all you got to know if the marinas are legal to fish or not so let's mm -hmm. let's look at just a ramp yep. there's usually five six seven ramps on any yep. of the bodies of water in kansas yep. so they've all got docks they've all got some rocks off to the side yep. and they've all got a rock transition where it goes mm -hmm. rock the actual ramp part itself yep. and then yep. there's maybe a curb there or something yep. and fish can set up on different parts of those yep. so there's three different baits that we're going to or three different styles of baits we're going yep. to focus on with that so we got to cover all three different areas of the water column. We've got to do top, mm -hmm. which to keep it simple yep. for the high schoolers who may be getting $10 a week in allowance, yeah. two weeks in allowance, you'll be able to fish any tournament in, in Kansas and still be able to catch fish and potentially win. Where a limit can go a long way, yep. this is the easiest way to get a limit. So first one is going to be a pop -up. and just a little top water bait that you can work super slow, just bloop, yep. bloop bloop or you can walk it a little bit faster mm -hmm. just something to kind of that you yeah. can mix up that it's very versatile topwater bait yep. and get those fish to bite yep. so and these are also good on days where there uh, should be, at least be a good topwater bite but maybe it's literally just calm and smooth as glass that's where these will stand out more so than a lot of other bigger, yeah. noisier baits. And you can use and you can use other baits like a whopper mm -hmm. plopper or, yep. or a walking bait or yep. something like that. The reason I chose the popper was yep. one, it can be very, very subtle, but it can mm -hmm. also be moved pretty quick. Yep. Um, 
And plus, it's a lot cheaper. What, a Whopper Plopper yep. is like $17? Yep. You can find a popper for five or six yep. bucks and go out there and throw it. It's not gonna, it's not, it's not gonna, gonna take up all bank. of your allow allowance money. You're gonna be able to go out there and get a bag of chips or whatever, yep. something to snack on throughout the day. Yep. So a popper was one Good of them. Good stuff there. Um, and again, I wanted to keep it cheap and simple. Mm -hmm. So for the middle of the water column, we're gonna go with the old fashioned uh, wacky worm. Um, just a five inch stick bait, green pumpkin you can't go mm -hmm. wrong with. Yep. Um, and just a cheaper bag of hooks. Uh, these are finesse wide gaps by Gamagatsu. It's a two aught size. That's about perfect. Mm -hmm. You just hook it right in the middle mm -hmm. and you just throw it out there and let it sink. Yep. And it sinks super slow. So you just yep. count it down. One, two, three, four. Pop it a little bit, let it sink a little more and reel it in and do it again. So let's say mm -hmm. you're fishing riprap. Yep. So we kind of want to focus on several different locations here. So, mm -hmm. I mean, those fish could be super shallow. They could be deeper. Yep. They could be in the middle. So you don't want to make a same cast at the edge of the bank every single time. Yep. You want to go edge of the bank. You want to try one a little further out. You want to try one in the middle. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to just keep messing around until you find out where those fish are at. Yep. And then once you find them out, you can just go that same level pretty much the rest mm -hmm. of the day. Yep. Um, and a, a good, you know, wacky rigged stick bait, as everybody knows, that that fall that it has when it's just sitting there doing mm -hmm. this when it falls it most of the time that'll yeah. that'll get the fish right then and there but yeah. uh like i said there are times when you may just have to let it soak there on the bottom for a minute yep. yeah so and the important thing is to slow down if you're in a slow crazy down. mindset going a million miles a minute like i said you just got to take a deep breath yeah. and you'll notice all three of these different baits that i'm talking about are super slow moving mm -hmm. and that's when that bites tough that's yep. a lot of you either want to get a reaction bite or yep. you want a nice simple slower finesse technique and mm -hmm. the wacky worm is a great way to go about it yep. these are like i think two or three dollars a bag oh yeah or something like that they're and super there's a cheap. bunch of them in there yeah. and you can pick that up for two most three of them will well. catch more than one or two fish even most of them will catch sometimes three or four fish yep. and we're going to stay with the same worm on this next technique when we go yep. to the bottom and we're just going to throw it on a shaky head mm -hmm. and it's just something that gets down to the bottom a little bit yep. quicker and you drag it a little bit yep. slower and it's just I mean, that's literally one bag of soft plastics, one uh, topwater hard bait, and mm -hmm. two packs of hooks, yep. and you're set up to fish. Because yeah. that, that same worm uh, on the wacky rig that's falling horizontally like this, you put it on the shaky head, and it's more of a standing up and down and kind of quivering a little bit when you're You're just kind of dragging it across yep. the bottom, bouncing it off rocks, yep. just a little Gives bit. Gives a whole, like whole new dimension to yep. the same basic bait. Yep, so. and that's why I... That, that's why I, I thought it'd be so great for Excellent. a high school or junior high fisherman Excellent. that's trying to get into it, but doesn't can't spend a ton of money on it, yep. want, but still wants to be competitive in these tournaments. Mm -hmm. Look, you take any of these, you just go buy these four packs right yep. here. It's like 10, 15 bucks. And I mean, you can catch a limit on these yep. baits. And in Kansas, a limit can go a long way. Yep. So that's that's the main reason yep. why I picked these four yep. baits. And, and just and always remember, bridges, very budget free, minded. Yep. yep. And yep. just remember, bridges, marinas, riprap, and ramps. ramps. If you stick to those four and stick with these different, these three techniques, you'll be able yep. to catch fish. Yep. Now, like I said, there's a lot of different things you could do. Top water, you can do a walking bait, whopper yep. plopper, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Middle of the water column, spinner bait, buzz bait, or not yep. buzz bait, uh, chatter bait, yep. and then uh, bottom, crank bait, a little jig, bit of everything. Jig, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yep. 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 Well, I thank you, man. I mean, mm -hmm. this is something that. Uh, it's budget minded, it's not gonna break the bank, and it can help out any angler from beginner level up to even a, a veteran that just, he, and he knows that sometimes you just got to slow down. And if I yep. would have listened to that myself, yep. I probably wouldn't have ended up blowing a five pound lead and losing by three yep. pounds, so. But still, yeah. right. <laughs> All right, well, we appreciate you coming by. Thank you. And thanks for the tips. Mm -hmm. All right.